And now, a wedding proposal you just have to see. Most guys, you know, get a thumbs up yeah. if they get down on one knee. But yeah, the guy, that's it. Yeah, that's about <laughs> all job. they do. Maybe ask the parents or the right. dad. But the guy you're about to meet went way above and beyond that. Yeah, he spent more than eight months on his plan to pop the question and even got the Milwaukee Art Museum in on it. Yeah, James Hadamio isn't an artist, <laughs> but he knows how to be creative. He used, get this, thousands of push pins to create a beautiful mosaic portrait of of his girlfriend Anne. Oh, then he got the museum to agree to display the work. The only glitch was one missing pin. Where is that one missing pin? Well, here it is. He put it in the box with the engagement ring. There, you see the push pin on the right, Cute. the ring on the left, and proposed then on one knee, of course, at the museum in front of his masterpiece. Yes, and we're happy to report. She said yes. How could she not? <laughs> yeah, after How that. How could she not? And right? here's the happy couple now. We heard about your proposal um, from a friend who shared the video with us of this kind of time elapse in the picture. How cool is this? It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was really, really great. It worked out perfect. I. Uh, I can't, I can't, I have to say that um, we, I got pretty lucky that everything just kind of fell into place, whether it was way in advance or just at the last minute. <laughs> See, I think you, you don't give yourself nearly enough no, credit. That is that's not, not lucky. lucky. No, that's a that whole is work. lot of planning. That's a whole <laughs> lot of work. And a lot of people are going to go, okay, he's an artist. He must be an artist. But yeah. you're actually. I'm an investment advisor, so. <laughs> I love that. That's the best punchline. <laughs> you're an investment advisor. Are you creative by nature? I'm, I'm not sure. I, it just seemed like a really neat idea at the time, and I almost whittled it down to more of math and uh, determination, I guess, more than uh, than creative uh, aptitude. Yeah. <laughs> that gives all of us hope that men out there who aren't creative can do something so romantic and amazing. How do you actually do it? As we're watching this time elapse, I mean, somebody who's never done a project like this, did you, you saw it online? Yeah, I had seen a pushpin portrait online, and... Um, uh, there was really no template, there was no instruction manual, so I, I thought, well, this is really, really cool. I can figure that out. I'm, a, I, I, you know, I'm smart enough that I can figure it out. And um, So I used a picture as a reference and uh, just slowly put all of the pieces together uh, about 64 hours in the making. So is it a picture that you blew up and then cut up and, and pasted on the pins? Uh, yeah, so I mean, if you, if you look at any picture and you zoom in far enough, um, you can kind of break it down into pixels. So mm -hmm. the entire piece is actually only made up of <laughs> about four colors. So there's red, white, uh, yellow, and black. That is wild. I, I mean, think you're missing your calling. Yeah, yeah. I think you're I missing mean, your calling too. I mean, you got a whole. You're gonna make a great father one day. You got a lot of patience. You will. How did you feel about seeing your face on this big thing at the <laughs> art museum? I mean, first of all, were you surprised? Because I know you don't live together right no, now. No, we don't. Um, we so don't. it helped. He, uh, he was hiding it in his basement where he also <laughs> makes beer. Okay, in his dungeon, he said. So he was able to get away with it. But were right. you surprised? I was. I saw it first from an angle, and I was like, "That's my face." And we were on the way out. So I was like, "What are we doing?" And so I kind of sprinted towards it, and he wasn't really ready, but he did have a photographer there that he's slagging him down. But I was shocked to see my face. I mean, oh, I it's bet. dead on. Yeah, so for sure. It was really a nice surprise. And then what happened next? You went over um, to the picture. Went over to the picture, and then he just said, Merry Christmas, because right before Christmas. Oh, and I was like, oh, too. thanks. And then I was like, who did this? And he's like, well, I did it. And so then I just asked him a few more questions, and then... Um, that's when he said, there's a missing pin, though. It's not finished. I was like, what are you talking about? It's perfect. And then he told me to go up to it closer, and that's when he took a step back, and that's when Aww, the proposal happened. Proposed. Yeah. Did you say yes? I mean, did you contemplate saying no? No. <laughs> there was no pause. When you look back at it, I'm like, what, what happened? Like, I was shaking. I was, you know, everyone says you don't remember what was said, and I really did have to help him figure out what did what happened you're what nervous yeah. yeah i don't think she remembered first off what i said second off what she actually said yeah. <laughs> what did she say anything uh, well uh i think um I she kind of nodded she was <laughs> she was crying so i think it was hard for her to get the words out um and then the first thing she said after she said yes is oh my gosh I'm engaged. <laughs> oh, my God, oh. I was waiting for One it. One of so. the things that I, um, in talking to you, Anne, was that um, that you said that you thought was really sweet about the actual proposal was that um, he used your first and your last mm -hmm. name. So yeah. it wasn't just, Anne, will you marry me? Right. I think some of that I like it because... One, I'm going to take his last name. So it's kind of like, and how often do you really call me by my last name? So it's kind of nice to be like, okay, here's your formal name. Obviously, you'll probably take my last name. And I don't know, it just meant a lot. It probably meant a lot to my family, too, that he has the permission. I'm sure. And, and then he actually had your family kind of in the waiting at mm -hmm. a nearby restaurant. Yeah. So you all went over there to celebrate. Right. Are you? 
Well, you know, I asked you, James, by email, do you always do romantic mm -hmm. things? And I loved your response to that. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know that I sit back and actually plan and say, well, this would be really romantic to do. I think uh, more than anything, I just, I like to surprise Anne, so uh, Christmas gifts and stuff like that, I always try to create it as an adventure and a surprise more than just, you know, a gift and handing it over. So more than anything, I guess I just like to see Anne's face when she's surprised, um, keep things a little spontaneous, <laughs> if you will, and, um, you know, just show her how much, I guess, she really means to me. Mm -hmm. so how, long, how long did it take to plan something like this? You know, if there's somebody who's watching something like this and, and thinking, oh, maybe I'll go a little above and beyond, do something a little more unique mm -hmm. or special like that, how long does it take to plan some sort of thing like this? Well, all in all, it was about eight and a half months in the planning. So I started, wow. you know, roughly, roughly April in 20, 2012 is when I got the idea. Um, from there, it was more about just figuring out how to do it. So that took some time. Um, and then, of course, putting the piece together. And then in between there, also just becoming an expert on diamonds and rings and <laughs> all the stuff that I had no idea was so complex. <laughs> yes, it's the, the cut, the clarity, the yeah, color. Yeah. But just really quickly, because we sure. ran out of time, James, what, what's your advice to a guy who wants to make a proposal special? I mean, not everybody's going to do a mosaic like that. But what is your thought on that? Uh, well, just, I guess, quite simply, you know, put some thought into it. Uh, plan well. Um, you know, if you're lucky, you only get to do it once. So, uh, you know, just put a lot of thought into it. Mm -hmm. It's cute. You're getting married this November. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're very excited. I have a feeling it's probably going to work out. <laughs> yeah, I have that feeling too. <laughs> I think you've got all the makings of a very good marriage. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you guys. So much. Thank you so, so, much. so much for uh, joining us. You're we welcome. loved it. Thank you.